So today I am here with my own Corsair 650D and I have fitted Noctua 120mm fans in the front, two of them, and I am just going to show how I actually did do it given the circumstances and how I would have done it if I was starting over again from scratch with a fresh case. Okay, so here's how I did do it. You can see that I cut with the Dremel I, the circular shape around where the 200mm fan mesh on the stock case is and then under that I sort of cut a rectangle shape for the bottom fan. Um, the reason I did this is because before I cut the mesh I basically screwed the fans in just to where the stock mesh was so the top fan was in front of mesh but the bottom fan only the sort of top 45 percent or 50 percent of the top fan was and then the bottom half of the fan was, was uh, blocked so what I originally did was I drilled holes um, in the uh, the spot underneath the 200 millimeter stock fan area and as you can imagine that was terrible the you know the fan the there's so much uh, pieces sticking out on the uh, inside of the case and so many burrs and it was just a mess it bent the steel you know terrible idea we, you know I wish I never did it it was terrible so I had to cut it out so that's why I ended up cutting uh, so wide along the bottom there to basically cut out all of the material that I, I had drilled through and just get all of the drilled material out of there so that it would end up looking cleaner uh, this method method worked out fine, uh, except the the cut ended up being wider than I would have done it if I was just starting from scratch. All right, so I have marked with green painting tape where I would have cut if I was starting with a fresh case. Basically, I would have just cut a rectangle shape along where the fan's edges were going to be. And then I would have left two sections of this area mesh where I drill, uh, screwed the fans in. So that's what it would have been, and it just would have been a sort of a, a less wide cut. Uh, functionally, this cuts fine, and I, it's no problem. Actually, I, I like it, and I think it's fine. Um, but this is probably the way I would have done it if I was starting fresh. Anyway, it doesn't really matter now because I've, it's already done, and it works well. So basically how I did this was I found that in the stock mesh you can see there's actually holes that line up for you to be able to drill the top, the bottom of one fan and the top of the other fan. So what I did was I drilled two um, old crappy fans um, onto the outside here and then I used the hole in the fan frame to drill these two bottom holes here and also these two top holes here and that's how I mounted them. I Then I just used uh, the you know, case grommets. I actually used thicker grommets here uh, because this mesh section is raised a bit and um, I used the stock case grommets in the bottom and the top and thicker aftermarket grommets here and here to eat, to level it out so that they're straight and that's all I did for mounting them. So the fan filter cut out on the 650D is actually just the right size for two 120mm fans on top of each other. When you have the 200mm single fan in there, it actually goes all the way to each edge of the case and so, you know, a little part portion of each edge is blocked um, by these side pillars here. Not that that matters in any meaningful way, but uh, all the point is for one, two 120mm fans this mesh cutout is perfect. Now this is what it looks like with the mesh uh, dust filter removed and the front bezel on and then for dust filtering all you do is there's about one inch worth of gap actually from here to here so if you wanted to you could actually install a second dust filter like one of those Silverstone magnetic ones underneath here and then you just install the stock Corsair dust filter into there 
and then that's it. It's you don't you know you can't really see the fans behind the the dust filter or anything except for you see a little bit because the frame is light beige. You can see a little bit through it, um, but that's how it looks with the stock front filter on. And the dust filter itself actually does not create much resistance noise at all, surprisingly. The main thing that created resistance noise was the mesh uh, on the frame behind the dust filter. So that's been removed. And um, the Noctua 120mm fancies are the P12s. Those are much quieter than the Corsair 200mm fans that come with it. And so the air performance is really good. Air flow is really good, temperatures are really good, and it's much quieter than it is now with the Noctua fans than it is with the stock fans. So that has been my case and how I installed Noctua 120mm fans and how I would have done it uh, a little bit differently if I was starting fresh, but I don't have any regrets because the performance is much better now.